concentrated energy received some experimental changes in the advanced server and this is going to change the way we play many heroes. So without wasting any time, let's jump straight into the video. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to test the new concentrated energy and its effects on our heroes. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. The new concentrated energy now doesn't give any heal on basic attacks as we have a new rule on advanced server where life steal is only for basic attacks and spell vamp is reserved for skills. The new passive of concentrated energy now increases magic power by 5 after dealing magic damage. This stakes can be gained 2 per second and can be staked 6 times. When these stakes are full, it increases magic damage by 12% for 3 seconds. Now heroes like Geniverse, Silvana, Nathan who rely mainly on the basic attacks for damage cannot get any healing like before in the original server. Let's test the new concentrated energy on different heroes and compare their effects. The new passive needs to be staked which means we need heroes who can deal continuous damage. The mages who are single burst type are the ones who will be affected the most. Let's test our fan favorite Gushan. Let's test the effects of two concentrated energies on Gushan. Gushan skill 1 and 2 are registered as spell vamp, and 20% spell vamp increase from concentrated energy gives the healing we see here. Let's do the same test again in the original server. See the difference? And now let's take a continuous damage hero like Kimi. Kimi can be seen taking advantage of this new passive because of her continuous magic damage. But there is no heal because the basic attacks are registered as lifesteal. If we compare it to the original server, it is great difference on her. I guess developers want the new item Stalium Scythe to shine as it gives hybrid lifesteal and Kimi can easily benefit from her. And do you know what can benefit you instantly? Subscribing to our channel and dropping comment on any of our latest videos. By doing this you can easily win an epic skin. So do participate in our 10 epic skin giveaway on 1.15 million subscribers. Let's move on to our next hero Silvana. Silvana will feel the most change as concentrated energy is still one of the most preferred items for her in the original server. But if we move to the advanced server, she has zero heal from concentrated energy in her second skill. Her second skill is registered as basic attacks, hence no spell vamp. We can get heal from her second skill inside her ultimate though. Let's take the effects of another continuous magic damage dealer, Nathan. Nathan is one of the best marksmen in terms of continuous damage output in original server and if you play Nathan, you will know that concentrated energy is crucial for the life steal on Nathan. It helps him to survive more and stay longer in team fights. Now let's equip Nathan with concentrated energy in the advanced server. The passive seems to work just fine but as expected, there is no life steal. We can get some spell vamp from his first and second skill, and that's it. And if you want life steal, you will need to opt for Stalium Scythe. Hmm, my suspicion is becoming more and more strong. Moving on, let's test Leslie's brother Harley. On the original server, Harley can benefit so much from concentrated energy. As you can see, the lifesteal from the basic attacks was so helpful in my survival. Let's compare it to advanced server. No lifesteal on basic attacks, Pacey seems to be not working so good. There's some spell vamp on his first skill though. 
Wait. Let's taste Stalium Scythe. And suspicion confirmed. I'm now sure developers have added these changes to concentrated energy because of this new item. Now let's taste some heroes who I think will benefit the most with the new concentrated energy. Esmeralda. Esmeralda's skills need to be continuously casted and this helps you maintain the stakes from concentrated energy's passive. This will result in damage increase, plus her second skill can also give her spell vamp. Is Esmeralda coming to meta again? Do comment down your thought. Alice will be a great choice for opting concentrated energy. The 20% spell vamp increase the continuous damage from its passive, it just works too well for this hero. I can see all the Alice mains jumping now. And now we have our Sicilian. Sicilian can take advantage of the new concentrated energy in his ultimate. The spell vam will make your healing more and the continuous damage from his ultimate can help you maintaining stakes. His first skill damage can also give him spell vam. I guess Moonton had to do changes to concentrated energy before releasing Stalim Scythe to balance out its effect. Just imagine getting double heal from Stalim Scythe and concentrated energy. It would be Nathan's dream come true, I guess. There are many heroes who have had impact because of the revamped concentrated energy and covering all of them will require a whole separate video. So to not bore you up, let's watch the montage. What do you think about the new concentrated energy? Did you guys like it or prefer the old one? Do drop down your thoughts in the comment section and with that here are the shoutouts from our previous video. Jameer, Unknown, DJ Renjo, Rasesh007 and TZY. And that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.